Fine inmate takes a stand, but it may cost him. Jose Orozco is serving up to 15 years in prison for manslaughter, but he's now eligible for pro. Or is he? For every crime, there's a story in The Truth Matters. Here's ABC4 senior crime and punishment correspondent Marcos Ortiz with tonight's Justice Files. Kelly Allred was killed six years ago. The man responsible for his death is now eligible for parole. Allred's father opposes that and also reminds the state if and when Orozco is released, he needs to be deported. Parents without one son, brothers without a brother, and most of all, three grandkids without a father. Kelly Allred never knew what hit him as he crossed the street in Clearfield in 2014. Jose Orozco never stopped. He fled from police and was later arrested for killing Allred. When he was sentenced for up to 15 years in prison, the judge also ordered Orozco be deported when he's released. At the Utah State Prison, nearly 50% of those incarcerated are minorities. Reportedly, 5% are undocumented. It's something that Kelly's father is mindful of. Not just Kelly's life, but how much he has cost the citizens and him being incarcerated and lawyers' fees and everything else on his bad decisions. I do understand, I do, I do realize the, the, the damage I cause. Orozco's ability to speak English is limited. The Board of Pardons provided him a translator who helps Orozco attempt an apology. Unfortunately, I guess it's, I mean, it's done and based on my the, the, the wrong decisions that I made and I, you know, and I will have to carry this with me. When Del Rosco hit Kelly, he'd been drinking. His blood alcohol level was two times over the legal limit. But Orozco denies he's got a drinking problem. To qualify for parole, a hearing officer wants to know what an inmate's done to improve his life behind bars. Orozco refused to take any self-help courses. I don't want that. I just want to do my time and get out. The hearing officer told Orozco that his attitude won't help his cause. Now the entire Board of Pardons will soon decide his future as to whether or not he gets released and deported back to Mexico. For the Justice Files, Marcus Ortiz, ABC4 News.